Well, solid win. I felt like the first quarter you guys just absolutely killed it. I think it was only three turnovers and one play turnovers. How did you feel about that one? I, I'm really pleased with that game overall. Yes, fantastic start, um, but we were, we were ready and we wanted to come out and have a good game today. Just obviously disappointed previous game, but turned it around pretty quickly and the girls um, went out there and executed and I was very proud of them. Um, I felt like it was a bit of a heavily rep game, but I felt like the defensive end for you was really solid. Obviously, foul being such a dangerous target. I felt like you guys sort of moved off off the body a lot and sort of double teamed as well. How did you sort of, and when you were entering the game, how did you sort of assess that? Well, we, had, we went into the game with um, um, an objective of being disciplined in defence and that is staying in play because we had too many penalties against us previously. So being able to have that pressure but still stay in the play and I thought they did that much better today. But I thought defensively all over the court it was very good. It was like a shield for... Um, you know, their goal circle and, and our defenders and Kate Eddie was fantastic out the front there on, um, wing, on wing defence so there was just that pressure out the front that they were able to come out and have a go at what was there to have a go at. Um, I thought the match up with Courtney and Waits was getting a bit uh, physical towards the end. Did you sort of um, have anything you know, sort of special for, in mind for her sort of taking on that role? Um, for um, Caitlin? Yeah. No, I think Caitlin's a strong, experienced goal shooter. And for her, um, you know, she enjoys that challenge and she was a really strong anchor for us throughout the game. And, um, you know, I was very impressed with the way that she just took it on and kept still putting those shots up in that goal circle. So we have quite a, a good break until um, the next game on Sunday. What, um, what will you do between now and, and the game on Sunday? Well, we'll have... Um, have a day off actually tomorrow. I did say to the girls actually at half time, like they've got another half, just really hard work and then we've got four days off, it'll seem like long service leave before the next game after these two days. But um, we'll have that recovery and that rest. Girls will have some time off so that they can get away from um, team as such and do their own thing and we'll have a bit of a touch on court as well along the way. And um, a message to our Vixens fans again at home who are tuning in on uh, Telstra TV. Our Telstra TV numbers have gone through the roof, um, to be honest, Simone. So, um, yeah, a message to our fans. Uh, we love, I mean, we, we're forever grateful that we're actually here playing the game and we love the messages and we know that you guys, are, you know, it's hard work back there in Victoria and we think of you and we, we hope that a win and a game like today lifts your spirits a little bit, even if it's just for a moment. All right, great win. How do you sort of assess that one? Um, I think it was great from us just after a disappointing loss to Thunderbirds on Sunday. I'm a bit out of work with my days. Um, I think it was just great for us girls to refresh and just kind of learn from our mistakes and then go out there. And I think one thing that we spoke about was our energy um, in warm-up and everything like that. And I think we really kind of set the tone, cancel out the first like minute and a half of the game. But I think we came out and we were firing and yeah, so it was good. Um, coming into the team, were you sort of excited about playing with, you know, two of the best players really defensively in the comp? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I have to kind of pinch myself that I'm fortunate enough to come home um, and play, or not home anymore, but to come back to the Vixens who I did grow up loving and always wanted to play for and to have Joey and Mannix behind me and then to stand on the um, transverse line with Maloney next to me, it's pretty cool and um, it's pretty easy when you've got some pretty amazing people around you to support you, so yeah. Um, you had Ingrid Collier, she's very, very fast. How did you sort of, how did you try and keep up with her? Uh, I literally said to Simone at the start of the game, all I'm going to try and do is just run my heart out and run, run, run. So I think for me it was just trying to, I am taller than her, so making sure that I just do go for the ball, but make sure that I do use my assets with my hands and try and stop the ball from... You know, we spoke about trying to be a shield um, for Emily kind of thing at the front, trying to help her because we, d um, FIBA do have such a strong target at the end of the court, so yeah. yeah. Um, so, Katie, you've been with us for a little while now. Um, Hub life. Uh, what's your um, highlight so far of being with the Vixens? Oh, that's hard. It's all pretty cool. Um, I think being up here and just up like getting to play I think that's probably one of my highlights um after the longest pre-season <laughs> ever which isn't my highlight 
<laughs> and so it's just I th- loved quarantine like it's pretty weird that I do love quarantine but it was pretty fun just to for me personally um a lot of the girls do have some bonds and things like that and it was good for me to just be stuck with them for two weeks and get to know them and everything like that so it sounds a bit weird but I think just quarantine and being up here um as a whole has kind of been a highlight for me because it has made my relationships with everyone a lot better which makes on-court stuff a lot easier. Now we've got a huge game coming up Sunday Channel 9 against the Giants Uh, what are you expecting out of this one? Um, I think the same again we've just got to go in strong um, every game is hard like we just got to go in and I think for us um, working on ourselves first not worrying too much like obviously recognizing our opponent but I think going in with you know our um, strengths you know like playing with our got game plan and everything like that that's how we play the best and I think not worrying too much about them and just concentrating on our own game that's how we win. Now we had a game on Sunday and then one tonight tomorrow day off. Absolutely I'm looking forward yes absolutely it'll be um, going up to the sunny coast um, trying to enjoy the sun we're lucky enough that every day off has been like 27 degrees or something like that I think Simone's somehow worked the fixture to be like nice days off which is nice and handy so just hang out at the beach get in a side bowl and hang out and just try and chill out with this long four-day break that we've got.